What's up y'all? This is your girl Tiffany LB back with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about what to take for your training. When I started out with Werner, I started out during the winter months, December 27 to be exact. That was two days after Christmas and two days before my birthday. So I spent my birthday and New Year's in Atlanta for orientation and training. Okay. I got this little suitcase. I got this little suitcase, a little rolling suitcase. And I packed maybe between five to seven outfits. And how I packed it, I just took my time and rolled it instead of doing it the traditional way, folding it. Yeah. I took like leggings and jogging pants, sweatshirts, t-shirts. So I like to be comfortable. I don't know about y'all. I ain't packed nail pair jeans. I did. So when I packed my stuff, I rolled it so I can have a lot of room inside my suitcase. I rolled it up like that. And just stuffed it in a suitcase. Dang, I should have stood up for y'all. I stuffed it in a suitcase like that. So I packed it down. <clears throat> I also took a sleeping bag because I didn't want to be carrying a blanket, sheets, and all that when all I could do is just slide in and out the dog on a sleeping bag. I also took a pillow. You know, a whole bunch of underwear. You can never go around with a whole bunch of underwear. Don't pack just five to seven pieces of underwear. Yeah, you can pack all of that. Um, feminine products. I also took like toothpaste. I didn't take the bar soap. I used body wash. Dove at that. I also took me some aspirin in case I, you know, got a little headache. I took my own washing powder. I got one of these little small bags. Um, I think I said toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant, my body wash wipes feminine products um i took a portable charger just in case because you never know what might happen you might get stuck somewhere that don't have any power outlets so i had portable chargers um socks scully caps because like i said i went in the winter time so it was cold and i also had pepper spray because I signed up for the co-ed and you know for who all that don't know that means you can go with a male or female trainer and I did not want to go with a, just a female trainer because I could have been waiting weeks at a time for a female trainer so I said I'll go with a male and I did end up going with the male, and he was a nice guy. I didn't have to use my pepper spray on him. Yeah, also a pillow, brush, comb, hair products, shampoo. Because I used to wash my hair, even though it still used to be cold. But, hey, you got to keep your head clean along with the body. Toothbrush. Yeah, and, like, if y'all be with the trainer, like how my trainer was... Yeah, my trainer, most of the time, we stayed at the terminal in Laredo, Texas. We probably went to North Carolina twice, but we was in between Laredo and El Paso. So, the terminal there has, like, the showers, the washer and the dryers, um, lounge area, fitness room. And you can take that time, like, doing your little 10-hour break and wash your clothes and stuff. And I believe... The amount for the washer and the dryer was like 75 cents a piece. Yeah, and they also have towels and rags for you to use. Like, if you don't have towels and rags. But I had my own shit. I took like two rags and two towels. Yeah, and like, um, the stuff that I put my dirty clothes in, the sleeping bag comes inside of a little small bag. So... So, with my dirty clothes, I just stuffed it inside the little 
um bag that my sleeping bag came in. And I just transport my stuff to the washer and that. Or if you want to take an extra pillowcase, you can take that. Or if you got a little drawstring book set that, that can fit inside your suitcase, you can use that. Because, like I say, you don't want to take all that stuff and you don't have that much room up there because you got to sleep where your stuff is at. And like how I save money on food, I took like fruits, like a bag of apples, bag of oranges, um, like canned tuna. I got one right here to be exact. You know, it pops. You don't need no can opener for it. Crackers, sandwich meat, bread. I might have bought. Yeah, I didn't buy. No food from the truck stop like that. I just try to make my own stuff to save money because that stuff can get expensive. And then you don't want to be eating all that food from the truck stop and get fat as hell by the time you get your own damn truck. Yep, so, yeah, and water. Water is the most important thing. Water, water, water. Oh, yeah. You might want to take, like, a little rain jacket, too. Can you leave me alone while I'm doing my video? Yeah. Take like a little range because you might get wet. But I ain't care because I'm natural. So if my hair get wet, I ain't messing up no hair, hair doing nothing like that. But that's about it. That's all I got for y'all today. So I guess I'll catch y'all on another video. Deuce.